TikTok is one of the most popular social media apps on the planet. For the fourth time, the United States of America are crown champions of the world. Rapper Juice World is dead after suffering a medical emergency at Chicago's Midway Airport. Now to Australia, where they're facing those massive fires, already among the worst in that country's history. CNN is able to tell you now that NBA star Kobe Bryant was on board that helicopter and is now dead at the age of 41. A deadly and contagious virus from China has made its way into the U.S. Many schools around the world, as you know, have shut down, some for extended periods of time as this virus spreads. Spring sports, SAT testing for juniors, and local and state club competitions all canceled. How has the coronavirus changed your senior year? Oh, it's changed a lot. Like, it's kind of weird to say, but I actually do kind of like miss some of my teachers. And like, just being around like an environment with a lot of like people at once is a lot different than just being at home. A good chunk of our traditions are the end of senior year, and that's where we're at right now, and that's when the coronavirus is hitting the hardest. So I think the, the worst part for us is the cancellation of all these like really important traditions. Sad because all of the stuff we look forward to have been canceled or postponed. And of course for a great reason, but it's kind of sad because you don't realize it's your last of high schools and you can't really say goodbye yet. Uh, I don't get the chance to start as the, uh, the number one boy this year. And I also don't get a chance to, to, to be a captain. And I'm not going anywhere. And. Um, also learned that uh, um, I actually learned the same amount outside of school that I learned in school. There's really not as much motivation to do schoolwork as it is if you were to physically get up and go. This is supposed to be primal senior event time and we're all supposed to be doing stuff together and prom and stuff all gone, all moves, gone, gone, gone. Coronavirus has drastically changed everything for me and everyone else here at the high school, especially the seniors. Uh, there's no more school, we're doing this online stuff. It's, it's not really the same as going to the high school. What advice would you give to incoming freshmen? Uh, one piece of advice I would give to an incoming freshman is to really stay true to yourself because a lot of people get lost in the sea of high school and they lose what they truly love. So stay true. I would tell freshmen to enjoy their time in high school while they have it because it does go by really fast. And to also take advantage of the extra events such as homecoming and prom and improv. It's going to be so incredibly different than what you thought you wanted but that's not a bad thing at all. So just be graceful with yourself and like allow yourself room to grow. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Like it's um, at like sporting events, whenever, whenever there's freshmen in the back, like they're just not cheering. Like have spirit and be proud of the school that you go to. Like don't be afraid to, sh don't be afraid to like act out. Appreciate what you have right now, especially in like the light of the current situation. A lot of things can like go away really quickly and be taken from you, so. Appreciate what you have right now. Health and good health and good time. Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was 
worth all the while. What's your favorite Serena Park High School memory? Um, winning the state championship. Yeah, in probably the cross state championship last year. Yeah. Our junior year. Yeah. It was, it was so much fun. Like getting ready before homecoming with my friends. Just because like we're all together. Uh, getting to spend time with the band uh, for Rock and Roll Revival in, uh, in a house. This year we got to do it in my house, which was cool. Um, so I'm a member of Key Club, and uh, with Key Club, uh, I'm the committee leader for our annual prom fashion show. And I think my favorite memories are definitely uh, associated with that. My favorite high school memory was being on the football team because I gained so many new friends, and it was a lot of fun. What did it mean to be a part of the cheer team? Um, the cheer team was just really fun. I made all my close friends on the team basically and it just helped me make closer friends and it was so fun. Uh, I really like being part of the track team because it's really like a family of sorts and without the track team I wouldn't have all my friends and the track team is like everyone else's friends on it and it's, it's just a really good inviting accepting community of people. Um, the basketball I became close with girls that I thought that I would never become friends with in the first place. And that was another one of the reasons that I loved my senior year so much. Part of the football team is uh, just something really special. It's like a bond, like a brotherhood. Uh, and like nothing, nothing at school could like replace that. Being part of track team is really nice because you can make friends with all different age groups. Track, there's definitely like the sprints group and then there's the distance group and it lets you like intermingle with a lot of people that you definitely wouldn't have like met before. Being a part of it now was just like honestly kind of a dream too because like coming up from eighth grade it's always something that I wanted to be a part of so it was definitely like a dream. Tradition like meant a lot to like Severn Park and like this program like obviously like we've won like four straight. I can't imagine not running in high school because I've definitely, like they said, met my closest friends and it's been something that I look forward to every single day. What advice would you give to your ninth grade self? So I would tell my ninth grade self that you should keep an open mind and get involved in a whole bunch of different things and just try something new and, you know, be open to change. To not worry about, like, the popularity and, like, things about high school. Probably focus more on your grades because your GPA matters a lot. To start practicing good uh, academic habits early. I would tell my ninth grade self to not be afraid to try new things and just have fun kind of going out of your comfort zone. I would say to just try harder in school because I feel like I didn't ever put in full effort until like my junior year and I always wonder what could have been if I put in that same amount of effort freshman and sophomore year, I feel like I would have better prepared myself. Not worry so much about who you know, who you're friends with, who you're talking to. Just have fun and talk to the people that are around you. What is the most creative way you've used to stay in touch with your classmates during this coronavirus lockdown? My friends and I use Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> um, even though it's for classes usually. My friends and I use it because it's easier than like group FaceTiming. We just Zoom all our friends or just like we have Snapchat, group chat, yeah. which like everyone has, but mostly Zoom and house party. <laughs> That's literally it. We've been having Zoom meetings like all night long from like probably till like 4 a.m. We play a lot of online poker, so that's fun, but at the same time, a waste of money. My friend group and I has been writing each other letters, so that's been fun. Definitely Zoom. Being able to Zoom with some of my friends, like pretty much like four or five days out of the week, just staying in touch, seeing what's going on with everybody, and just honestly just hearing their voices just at, during this whole pandemic kind of helps. Of all your high school years, which one was your favorite and why? Um, definitely last year, I feel like, because last year, towards the end of the year, it was really fun. Um, especially last year's summer, our group tends to have a really good time when it comes to Memorial Day weekend. We all go on the beach and have like a blast. 
Um, that's definitely like one of my favorite high school experiences, without a doubt. I would say senior year is definitely the best year because you do prepare yourself all these years. And it's kind of sad because you're saying goodbye to your friends, but at the same time, it's like the best time of your life. For me, it was definitely my senior year because you have a lot of freedom and it's like not a lot of work at all. I would say that junior year was my favorite year. Um, I mean, all years were like good in their own ways, but junior year, I feel like the whole entire grade kind of like came together and we all like made close bonds and stuff. Uh, I think senior year was my favorite. Uh, I don't know, basketball was really fun this year. I started a lot, that was cool. I got to meet all these people. Which teachers had an impact on your high school career? Definitely Mrs. Fagan, Dunbar, Kendra, and Dr. Seth. My teacher would probably be Miss Fish. I had her uh, sophomore year for English, and she was like really nice and helped me out a lot in class. And I liked her a lot. And we just vibed, and she would always like give me food and stuff. So Miss Chang in English 10 and AP Lang really helped my writing and enabled me to, to focus throughout a test. The teacher that had the most impact was Mr. Kandra. I had him in freshman year, and the way he taught, like. I guess he taught me that I actually did need to take notes. I didn't really use that lesson in any other classes. I uh, definitely miss Gabe's and Mr. Kilby, uh, where like I started off freshman year not knowing anything about music, and then by now, like there, Miss Gabe's is like <laughs> so it's fun. What will you miss most because of this pandemic? Everything. <laughs> definitely like prom graduation if it doesn't happen, and senior week. And I just miss like hanging out with my friends every weekend and every day after school. I think what I'll miss most is the friendships I've had throughout the years and that now that I can't see everyone, it's sad not going to school and just talking to everyone every day. Uh, what I'm going to miss most is all the events that I tried, more specifically rock and roll. Um, although senior year it got canceled, it was still really fun. It was something I never thought I'd do, but that's probably what I'll miss the most. Messing around in class and making memories in school not just on the weekends. I'm going to miss um, being able to go to the school every day and just be with my friends. Um, I'm also going to miss all the sports games and all the um, community activities. Definitely going to miss Rock and Roll Revival the most. That was probably the best experience I've had in all of high school. The teammates and just you know being around my team and like Coach A, it's, I miss everyone so much. We have our little Zoom calls occasionally and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, it's I enjoy it so much because it's like it's the little sliver of like what we once had like we get and I enjoy that. What interesting things have you done during self-isolation? Um, I've gone kayaking a bunch and just like been working out. Um, it's a funny story actually. This kid, he was telling me like two weeks ago or three weeks ago that he was getting this dog and that if I told our parents, he'd kill me. So I was like, ooh, that doesn't sound too good. So our dad has forced us to be productive because my work is postponed, so I can't work and go make money, and uh, she can't either, and can't really do much. So we have painted our basement. We have done the yard with mulching, um, just basically household activities. I've actually like started like reading a book, which I typically don't do just like for fun, but I've been like so bored. Yeah, I've been cooking a lot and I'm learning to play the electric guitar. If you could bring two of your classmates on a cross country road trip, who would you choose and why? Uh, I'd probably take Josh Giebels and Jeremy Simon, just because <laughs> we've been talking about that a lot, specifically me and Josh, how once this is all over, we kind of want to go like either in a car or on a plane, get like a ticket, because right now everything's cheap. Just get in the car and drive with no GPS or anything. Just kind of see where we end up. I have to go three. It would be me, Andrew Weinstein, Jeremy Simon, and John Grime. We probably are going to do it. We'd be going to college together, and I don't know. I think we just have a blast. I would choose to take Emmy, Alex, and Bella. We've all been like best friends like our whole entire high school career and longer. I would choose Alex Jones and Ava Thomas because we already went to Spain together two summers ago. I'd have to say uh, Cord Hirschman and Alex Miller are probably my two closest friends that I've uh, had ever since elementary school. What college will you be attending? Uh, I'm going to Salisbury to play football. University of Mississippi. UMD. Loyola. The University of Kentucky. Auburn University. Coastal Carolina with five of my good friends. The University of Tennessee, Knoxville. University of Maryland, College Park. Georgia Southern University.
Stroudsburg University. Goucher College in Towson, Maryland. University of Nevada uh, in Reno. University of Colorado Boulder. Um, if it's not already obvious, AACC. <laughs> the Ohio State University. Johns Hopkins University. Towson University. Go Tigers. AACC. Butler University. The University of Virginia. Juniata College. Clemson University. Coastal Carolina University. The University of South Florida. Clemson University. Syracuse. University of Tampa. Loyola University of Maryland. Play lacrosse. Yeah, yeah, College. Coastal Carolina University. Andrew Weinstein, Jeremy Simon, and John Grime. Chance up. Carnegie Mellon University. The University of Maryland. The University of Central Florida. The University of Georgia. Go dog. <laughs> University of Pittsburgh. The University of Texas at Austin. Colorado School of Mines in Golden, Colorado. <laughs> Fairfield University. Across. The University of Delaware. San Diego State. The uh, UMBC. In spring 2021, I will be attending the University of Maryland. University of Alabama. Towson University. Uh, Berkeley College of Music. Uh, best music school in the world, baby. Um, can you introduce me to your friend? Um, so that's Michelle. Um, bring her over. Uh, sweet lady. Here, uh, this is uh, the mannequin, one of the two that we put up on the stage during rock and roll. It had a shirt at the time, but it was not mine, and Trent took it home with him. But as you can see, everyone signed their names. We got it uh, at Dress Barn when it was closing. We saw that they were selling mannequins, and we walked by and we were like, oh, that's funny. And then we walked by again, and we were like, oh, now we gotta buy one. Because where else do you find mannequins? We were probably never gonna get an opportunity to buy one again. So, you know, uh, luck is when opportunity meets preparation. And we had the opportunity to buy the mannequins. <laughs> and we had the preparation of finally having money because we had jobs. I painted this one uh, the blackest paint that you can buy and then it just was a staple in the rock and roll uh, band and even Ken Kimball, the uh, legend of Lord, uh, was very happy and, and I think he considered it as a band mascot. Mm -hmm.